Good morning and welcome back to the Undrift. This is Trucker Joe and we're here to drift. Uh, definitely going to be getting into some Aceto Corsa today. Uh, beyond that, we'll see what happens. But thanks for joining me again. Let's get into some smoke. Okay, we're here at Nelson Ledges in Ohio. And an FTC Drift Team 1973 BMW 2002. Let's see if we can make some smoke here. Distracted by Woody over there flapping his arms every time I go full throttle. <laughs> it's cool to see that there, though. Really wanted to hold that for it, but that didn't happen. Instead, I'm going to spin out. to get school really quickly. That's a good thing. Except when you're not used to it and it's happening before you want it to. And this isn't really a drift track, but just something I figured I'd have some fun with. Go sideways, and he tracks a drift track, right? And here we are with the replay of the same track, same car. And I did not even modify this thing. I liked it the way it came straight out of the box. Did not change any settings or anything. It just did what I wanted it to do. You know, until it didn't run off the track, but that was my fault, not the car. It's good at making smoke. Getting some serious RPMs there. And just blasting around the track and having fun. Blasting around the grass and having fun. When it is sideways, it does make it look fairly impressive. Makes it almost look like I know what I'm doing until I hit the grass again like that. I do like drifting all the different JDM cars, but there's just something about a BMW, the way it handles. There's nothing else like it. And of course with the 2002, it being the predecessor to the 320i that I had in, from uh, 83. It's one of those cars that's just near and dear. Okay, I did not notice until now that the uh, skeleton there is flicking you off. <laughs> it wasn't quite what I had in mind. And that'll do it for the replay. And here we are in the Extreme Drift RX-7 and Nine Elms Drift in London. Let's see if we can get some smoke going here and maybe not go off the road again. Not that that's going to happen, but hey, it's all fun. This is just because I couldn't completely neglect the JDM, but I could run it into a wall. Uh, <laughs> I 
however I meant to go, but that'll work. And there's just one about a RX-7 drifting that just seems right. Yep, the sound of that rotor engine going crazy. Not much like that. And nothing to dislike about that either, for that matter. And I think that'll do it for the RX-7. And here we go with the replay of the same one. Gotta love the smoke. Just wish I could actually control the car a little better. That'll come. Like everybody tells me over and over again, it's just seat time. almost link some of these corners, but this track is really tight. But it's a lot of fun to play with, too. I do, do kind of wish there were some different camera options for this, and yes, I know I could add a drone camera to it, but I'm just playing more into just getting the drifting down rather than getting into all the different uh, camera options. One thing at a time, right? That thing definitely throws some smoke as it slides. Well, we went down to South Carolina to visit Grandpa, and uh, he let us drive this 98 Crown Vic. Baby blue car. And, you know, as any good grandson would do, we took it out for a test drive and want to see if we can get it to drift. It's not very good at it, but we have some fun. You know, get some tire smoke kicking and just beating up a good old car. Grandpa's getting kind of old anyway, he probably shouldn't be driving. We won't hurt it too much. Or we will. Who knows? But look at all that tire smoke. Almost gets some, some uh, successful drifts out of this little beat up old car. Whoa! Here goes Grandpa's car. Poor guy. He really loves this thing. We probably shouldn't be beating up on it like this. But we were bored. And it's South Carolina. I mean, you gotta do something. And, you know, full size sedan on a racetrack in South Carolina. Some kind of racing is gonna happen. That's all there is to it. Just something about a bunch of tire smoke coming off the back of an old Ford. Well, we've had some good, clean fun here. After Grandpa's old crown big, I think we're gonna call it a day. Well, as it turns out, after playing with Grandpa's baby blue crown big, I got this idea in my head that I should take it down to Mexico and have a little fun with it, but he wouldn't let me have it. So I found this 2010 instead. It happens to be about the same color, and do a few modifications to it. And we took it on down to Mexico and we're going to have a little fun. 
it drifts pretty good. But for right now, I want to see if it flies. Because there's nothing like a car that flies, right? It flies. Let's get up over this hill. See what other fun things we can do with this Crown Vic. She drifts. She's got an e-brake. She's got some dents. It's no big deal. And she's fast. Even when sideways, she's still pretty fast. So we're just having fun with this crown deck now. Nothing like doing dumb things with an old car. I mean, it's not that old. It's only 13 years old, but... Yeah, it's still fun, right? Yeah. I mean, it would have been cool if there was actually a Crown Vic with any brake and a six speed manual transmission. But I don't think Ford really had that in mind with this car. Considering most of them were law enforcement vehicles. And the rest of them, well, Grandpa drove them for good reason. And nowadays I know a lot of people have the old retired police cars and do really bad things with them. Like drift them and race them. Use them in demolition derbies. They're pretty tough. But people are still having fun with these cars. I think most people, when they think of Ford, they think of the Mustang or the F-150. But the reality is, this is probably the most successful car Ford's ever made outside of the Model T. It's just a universal fun machine. And I think it's going to do that to it for us for today on the Crown Vic. Well, we had a little fun in the Seto Corsa. We got a little goofy towards the end there. We got some really goofy stuff going in Horizon after that. But, had some time having fun. And I've enjoyed making this video. Hope you've enjoyed watching it. If you have, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you next time on the Undrift. Thanks again.